Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I am here in Baltimore in Mount Auburn Cemetery, paying my respects to the Murphy family. John H. Murphy established the Afro-American newspaper on August the 13th, 1892. It is the third oldest continuously owned business in the country, in the United States. And as far as Maryland, it is the oldest family owned or otherwise business in Maryland but uh, ironically Saturday coming up August the 13th in Greenbelt Maryland the afro-american newspaper is celebrating a 130 year gala of them uh, of the newspaper being established so they're having a nice little uh, gala down there at the Martins West uh, crossroads and um, I think tickets are from $35 up to $300 for VIP and they've got Kid uh, uh, Capri I believe is the DJ and uh, so it should be kind of nice but uh, anyway John Murphy is buried right here with his family but this is his grave right here with his father it's it is covered over by grass but they just recently cut the grass here and his wife is buried right there his wife uh, Martha but uh, this is John you can see the headstone it's one of these mobile headstones they start fading over the years but this is the Murphy family you can see on there and uh, here are some of the sibling uh, some of their offspring you have uh, it was Gilbert George Harriet Francis and on the other side you have Daniel, Rose, and Houston. Now there's another member listed over here. I'm not sure if she's buried here as well. Rose Oliver, and she passed away in 1920. If you like this video, please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about the Afro-American newspaper. Like I said, it was established to um, report on the racial equity and advancement of blacks and it still does today